NetBackup IT Analytics provides deep analytics and interconnected insights across the critical components of your IT environment. It provides you with benefits and efficiencies in data protection, storage optimization, chargeback, and public cloud. Let's start out with a quick overview of what NetBackup IT Analytics is and some key benefits. We'll then discuss the new features of the NetBackup IT Analytics 11.1 release. IT Analytics is a platform that aggregates and visualizes your data in both hybrid and multi-cloud environments via a single pane of glass to optimize your infrastructure and provide both cost savings and risk mitigation. We use an agentless data collector to connect to a wide variety of content sources, whether public or private cloud, network storage, different backup and replication vendors, or SAN switches. By aggregating this data, we can optimize your data protection and storage and provide comprehensive capacity reporting and chargeback. Now let's discuss the new features. Features within IT Analytics 11.1 include the ransomware scorecard, which measures a customer's ransomware resilience and readiness in terms of data protection and recoverability, Microsoft Azure cost history reports, and the IT Analytics Data Collector, which can now be installed on a Kubernetes cluster. This approach helps reduce human errors caused during manual or ISO-based installations. Like a credit score that measures a customer's credit history, the Ransomware Scorecard measures your ransomware resilience and readiness in terms of data protection and recoverability. How well prepared are you to recover from a potential ransomware attack? Are you following all standard best practices in terms of protecting your data? The scorecard provides an overall current score and a visual of how your ransomware score is trending over time. Is the situation getting better or worse? Some aspects of ransomware resiliency can be difficult or impossible to determine from data collected by IT analytics. In these cases, users answer questions to complete the picture. For example, the existence of training on a cybersecurity response plan is not something IT analytics can determine from the data it collects. So a user of the ransomware scorecard must answer this question manually. IT analytics collects data items from a customer's net backup environment. For example, are there hosts in your environment that have not been backed up? Are there backup images impacted by malware? Based upon the answers to the questions and the data items collected, a ransomware score percentage will be provided with recommendations on how to improve the overall score. It will also show a trend line over time of how the score has improved or not over the course of time and the percentage of answers that have been completed. The score column includes a warning triangle with those items which have a high level of risk. The scorecard also collects information on data items such as the one listed here where we're looking at the version of NetBackup the customer is running, and only one of the NetBackup servers is running NetBackup 10, which has included in it a number of additional ransomware resiliency new features. Data items also have drill down reports which present the data upon which the data item is based. For example, in this report, we're seeing that a particular backup image has been impacted by ransomware. Alerts can be sent by IT analytics when your ransomware score fails below a certain threshold and an administrator can be notified. Many corporations that use Azure have literally thousands of Microsoft Azure subscriptions. Managing billing for all subscriptions independently imposes a huge amount of effort. Veritas delivers a method to roll up all subscriptions into a single manageable report. You can run cost history reports by subscription or region so you can determine which regions Azure subscriptions are costing the most, for example. The third new feature involves deploying a data collector Docker image on Kubernetes. This approach also helps reduce human errors caused during manual or ISO-based installations. Thank you.